Hello everyone, this is the challenge question walkthrough for Adexcel's Pure Year 2 textbook for review exercise 1. Okay, for question 1, the functions f and g are defined by f of x equals minus 3 times the modulus of x plus 3 plus 15 and g of x equals minus 3 quarters x plus 3 halves and the diagram shows a sketch of the graphs y equals f of x and y equals g of x which intersect at the points a and b where m is the midpoint of AB. The circle C with centre M passes through the points A and B and meets y equals f of x at the points P as shown in the diagram. And for part A we're asked to find the equation of the circle and for part B the area of the triangle APB. So a good place to start would be to find the points of intersection A and B. So we'll do that by setting f of x equal to g of x. So we have minus 3 times the modulus of x plus 3 plus 15 is equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 3 um, halves. And you can see from the diagram that there are two solutions um, to this equation, one where x plus 3 will be positive and the other where it is negative. So if we first consider where um, they are positive, so here we're looking for positive x plus 3. So we have minus 3 times x plus 3 plus 15 is equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 3 halves. Expanding out the brackets, we have minus 3x minus 9 plus 15, so plus 6, is equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 3 halves. And rearranging again, we will have 3 minus 3 quarters x, so that is um, 9 quarters x. And on the other side, we have 6 minus 3 halves, so that is 9 halves. Therefore, we have that x is equal to 2. OK, for the um, negative value of x plus 3, we'll have minus 3 times negative x plus 3. Uh, plus 15 is equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 3 halves. And, and expanding out in the same way, we'll have um, 3x uh, plus 9 plus 15, so that's plus 24 is equal to minus 3 quarters x plus 3 halves and rearranging we get um, 15 quarters x is equal to 3 halves minus 24 so that's minus 45 over 2 therefore x is equal to minus 6 and now we can find the corresponding values of um, y so for the positive value of x plus 3 we'll have that y is equal to uh, minus 3 quarters times x plus 3 halves from the um, equation for g of x and that equals minus 3 halves plus 3 halves so that's 0. So we know that the point um, b from the diagram will be 2, 0. Now doing the same for the point a here the value of y is equal to minus 3 quarters times x which is minus 6 um, plus 3 halves. And this is equal to um, 6. So we have the point A minus 6, 6. And using these two points, we can now find the midpoint of the circle M. So that's here on the diagram. OK. Um, the midpoint of these two points will be 2 minus 6 over 2. So that's minus 2 and 0 plus 6 over 2, so that's 3. Now, because we have the, um, the uh, coordinates of the centre of the circle, all we need to do to find the equation is to find the length of the radius. And so we can use um, these two um, points on the circle and the centre to find the uh, length of the radius. So let's use a and m. We have that the length of the radius, ma, is equal to the square root of minus 6 minus minus 2, so plus 2 squared, plus uh, 6 minus 3 squared. And that will give us 4 squared plus 3 squared, which is 25. So the radius has length 5. Therefore, the equation of the circle for part A is x uh, plus 2 squared uh, plus y minus 3 squared using the coordinates of m. And that is equal to the radius squared, so 25. And for part B, we're asked to find the area of the triangle APB. So we need to find the intersection of um, this section 
of the modulus graph and the circle. So we're looking at the intersection of um, minus 3 times minus x plus 3 plus 15 and the circle. So y equals minus 3 times minus x plus 3 plus 15. And that equals 3x plus 9 plus 15, so 3x plus 24. And we're looking for the intersection of this um, line with the circle. So we can do that by substituting this value of y in terms of x into the equation for the circle. So we have x plus 2 squared plus y, so that's 3x plus 24 minus 3, so plus 21 squared is equal to 25. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 9x squared um, plus 126x plus uh, 441 is equal to 25. And taking all the terms to the left hand side and simplifying, we get 10x squared um, plus 130x uh, plus 420 is equal to 0. So we have x squared plus 13x plus 42 is equal to 0. And therefore, factorising, we get x plus 6, x plus 7 is equal to 0. So we know that the um, x coordinates of a and p are going to be x equals minus 6 and x equals minus 7. And this point here is a. So that means this point must be um, P. So now we have the coordinates of P, minus 7, and we can plug this value of x back into the equation y equals 3x plus 24 to find the y coordinate. So 3 times minus 7 plus 24 gives us 3. So we have the coordinates of P as minus 7, 3. And now we can look at the triangle APB. Because um, AB is the diameter of the circle, because the midpoint is the centre, the midpoint of AB is M, therefore APB must be a right angle from your circle theorems. So this is A, this is B, this is P. So if we look at the length AP first, that is equal to the square root of minus 6 and minus minus 7, so plus 7 squared plus 6 minus 3 squared. That gives us the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared, so that's root 10. And for PB, uh, we have the square root of 2 minus minus 7, so plus 7 squared, plus uh, 3 minus 0 squared. And that will give us 9 squared plus 3 squared, so that is the square root of 90, or 3 root 10. So we have that the area of the triangle is equal to a half base times height, which equals um, 3 halves times 10, so that is 15. And that is our final answer. Okay, for question 2, given that a of n plus 1 is equal to a n plus k, a1 equals n, and the sum from i equals 6 to 11 of ai is equal to the sum of i equals 12 to 15 of ai. Um, show that n equals 5 over 2k. So, we're given that a n plus 1 is equal to a n plus k, and we know that a1 equals n, therefore a2 is equal to a1 plus k, so that's n plus k. A3 is equal to A2 plus K, so M plus 2K, and so on, until we get um, AI, which is equal to N plus uh, I minus 1K. So the coefficient of K is always one less than the I value here. Okay, if we look at the sum from I equals 6 to 11 of AI, we get that as equal to a6 plus a7 plus and so on and so on, and so on until we reach a11. And this is equal to n plus 5k plus n plus 6k plus so on and so on, and so on until we get to n plus 10k for a11. And this is equal to where well, we've got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So that's 6 lots of n plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus um, 10. And lots of k. But now to calculator, 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 is 45. So we have 6n plus 45k. Now doing the same for the sum from i equals 12 to 15 of a i. 
We have that is equal to A12 plus A13 plus A14 plus A15. And that is equal to N plus 11K plus N plus 12K plus N plus 13K plus um, N plus 14K. And that gives us four lots of N plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14, which um, gives us 50K. And we're told that these two um, values here are equal. So we have 6N plus 45K is equal to 4N plus 50K. Therefore, 2n is equal to 5k, and n is equal to 5 over 2k as required. And finally, our last question, question 3. The diagram shows a sketch of the functions p of x equals the modulus of x squared minus 8x plus 12, and q of x equals the modulus of x squared minus 11x plus 28, and we're asked to find the exact values of the x-coordinates of the points a, b and c. So if we think about whether the um, quadratics inside these modular signs are positive or negative at the points a, b and c, that should help us find the equations to solve to find the x-coordinates of the points a, b and c. So if we draw out a table, so we have a, b and c down the side, and here is quadratic in uh, p of x greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. And in the other column we can have is the quadratic in q of x greater than or equal to zero. So for a, we can see that it lies on the negative part of the black curve, as usually it'd be down here, but it's been reflected upwards. So for a, the quadratic is um, negative um, and the red curve, y equals q of x, is when it when um, the quadratic is positive. And looking at b, this is on the reflected bit for both both of the um, curves. Therefore, it is negative for both p of x and q of x. And for c, we can see that the black curve is positive, and the um, red curve is negative still. Okay, so if we're looking to find the um, coordinates of A, we need to solve the equation negative x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equal to positive x squared minus 11x plus 28. And so we have 2x squared uh, minus 19x uh, plus 40 is equal to 0. And using your calculator, you get that x is equal to 19 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 4. And if we think about what we're actually solving here, if we draw, we'll draw this out on the graph. We have the um, normal equation for the red curve here. So that will look something like this. And then we have the negative, um, the negative of the other quadratic here. So that will look something like this. You can see that there are actually two points of intersection here and here. Um, this one will be A and this one will be a phantom point. And we can see that the phantom point, the point which doesn't actually exist on the graphs of the curve, that point will, um, you can see from this um, diagram that its x coordinate is larger than that of A. So we know here to take the negative square root to get the smaller value of x. So we have that the x coordinate of a is um, 19 minus the square root of 41 over 4. Now doing the same for b. Here both the curves are negative. So negative x squared minus 8x plus 12 is equal to negative x squared minus 11x plus 28. And we can um, take the negative away from both sides divide through by minus 1, however you want to think about it. Then we can cancel out the x squareds. So we're left with 3x is equal to um, 16. So x is equal to 16 thirds. And that is only one solution there. And we can, again, we can draw a graph to see y. Where both of these curves are negative, that will look something like this. And the red curve. 
can see why there will only be one point of intersection and that is B here. And finally for C we have the positive P of X so that is X squared minus 8X plus 12 is equal to negative the quadratic in Q of X X squared minus 11X plus 28 and doing the same as we did for equation A getting this into a solvable form 2x squared um, uh, minus 19x uh, plus 40 is equal to 0. And you'll notice that this is the exact same as the equation for a because um, this, because these two equations here are equivalent. One is just timesing the other through by minus 1. So we get the same equation and the same um, solution but this time we're going to take the positive solution because c is further up the x-axis than a is so we have that x is equal to 19 plus um, the square root of 41 and we can again see this on the graph if we have um, a positive um, black curve and a negative red curve that will look something like this this is the phantom point C, which doesn't exist on the real curve. And this is the actual point C, as you can see in the diagram. So we have XA is equal to 19 minus the square root of 41 over 4. Um, the X coordinate of B is equal to 16 over 3. And the X coordinate of C is equal to 19 plus the square root of 41 over 4. And that is the end of the challenge question walkthrough for review exercise 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.